In today's development update video, we're going to take a look at the engraved feature released in the latest development build of HSM Works 2016. Now this is also available in Inventor HSM and expected to be released shortly in Fusion 360. For the example, I have some text cut into my part, some simple sketch geometry, and an artistic mosaic. We'll begin by engraving the text. So, from the 2D milling dropdown, we can select Engrave. As with any other operation, we'll begin by selecting our library and picking a tool. In the case of the engraving operation, that's going to be a pointed tool. From the Geometry tab, we simply need to select the top edge of any of the text we're going to engrave. And we can select OK. So very quickly, we've produced a toolpath to engrave the text. Let's go ahead and simulate it. Here we have some perfectly engraved text. To understand how engraving works, we're going to go back and engrave the sketch geometry that it already produced. So again, we'll select engrave. And this time for my geometry, I'll select the sketch. We can select OK. And again, we're going to run stock simulation. I'll slow down the simulation and click play. There's a couple things we're noticing. First, we're picking out those internal corners. And next, what you're noticing is as the slot gets narrower, the tool is raising up in the geometry. And as the slot gets wider, the tool is going to dive back into the geometry. So effectively, what we're doing is using a pointed tool as a tool with a variable diameter. This allows us to machine geometry that varies in width and pick out square corners. The last bit of geometry we're going to look at is the artwork at the top of the part. Let's produce one more engraving operation. And from the geometry tab, I'll simply select the face that the artwork is on. By selecting this face, I got all of the edges of the given face. Now, unfortunately, that also included the outer edge. So as a quick trick, we can hold control to deselect that outer edge. Again, we'll say OK. Quickly, we're presented with a toolpath that we can run our simulation on. Well, I hope this video has inspired you to download the latest development build of HSM Works and begin testing the engraved feature. We're looking forward to seeing the amazing parts you produce using this new function.